Back to Todd Woods thing. I wonder if the whole time he's been like, we did it. Did mention the thing. We're going to men- the thing. We're going to mention the thing. He has put on this, uh, and I don't know why I have my notes in two places for this one. He's put on a walk in the cold Saturday, March 23rd. So you got some time for this. Mm-hmm. It's a walk or run for the hungry, homeless, and hopeless. <sighs> and I just love that he cares so much. Me too. A fundraising effort to help the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission. Again, Saturday, March 23rd, you can be a walker, you can be a runner, as the title mm-hmm. suggests. $35 registration gets you an event t-shirt, sponsor grab bag, one raffle ticket. Now let's talk about this yeah, raffle. Quick question, though. Yeah. Can you just donate without running? Because kind of yes. like the polar plunge. Yes, and I'm this betting. This is another thing uh-huh. where I'm like, meh. I'm betting you can do that at walkinthecold.com. Oh, great. Okay, good. And like we were saying, you know, with the housing crisis as it is, this is such an important mission that he's on. So yeah. if you have the money and if you love this community, you know, he's give what you can. He's on a mission and he's wishing someone could cure his lonely <laughs> condition. Looking for walkers <laughs> in all the right places. <laughs> No? Okay. Yeah, you you tried your best. It's okay. It's hard to freestyle. Here's what's in this raffle. It's like the ultimate entertainment package. Listen to this. It it has a 75-inch Samsung 4K UHD. Ooh, I could use one of those. Smart TV soundbar, PlayStation 5, and more. Again, it's a benefit for the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission, and it's happening at the waterfront at Snake River Landing, March 23rd. The time is 11... For walkers, eleven thirty for runners. Nice. So we'd love I like to that see- walkers get a head start. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before the runners come blazing past them. <laughs> right. right. We'd love to see you there. We think it's a worthy cause run by an ultra worthy man. Oh yeah, and while we're doing walks, can we talk about Ammon's other weird walk that's coming up? <laughs> yeah. Who's in charge? Who is their ministry of silly walks? <laughs> uh more like, who's the sadist on the team? <laughs> who's like, let's make people suffer. Do you <laughs> remember? Genuinely. Last fall, Ammon did a nagathon. Oh, oh, it, it makes my stomach hurt just thinking about it. And I'm not even lactose intolerant. There were plenty of people who apparently had a good time. <laughs> so they've decided to up the game a little bit with the Ammon Duck Donut Thon. I mean, I will say it doesn't have <laughs> as nice of a ring to it, but. I love me a duck donut. It certainly (laughs) um, includes running and then consuming something. Consuming lots of carbs and lots of sugar. Oh, it's going to sit in your gut like a brick, dude. Well, I don't know. You've seen those long distance runners and and people are like, instead of glasses of water, they're handing them slices of pizza and they're eating them. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true, huh? Like that's okay. You know, that's why Michael Phelps was able to consume 20,000 calories a day. That's true. Is because he was swimming back and forth oh, man. in lower than body temperature water. Mm-hmm. You uh, you can sign up to be a little ducky and run one mile for one donut. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cute. A hungry ducky is three miles for three donuts. <laughs> A crazy ducky, six miles for six donuts, and finally a ducky beast. (laughs) 13 miles, 13 donuts. 13? That's like a half marathon, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know anything. I know so much about marathons. I run a marathon every <laughs> summer. Of course I know that that's half a marathon. No, I don't know anything about marathons. I don't that, know how long a half marathon yeah. is. <laughs> that's half a marathon. That's funny. Oh, my gosh. But okay. think of all the donuts. <laughs> well, I, I know that I can walk a mile conservatively in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's got to reflect poorly on me, but that's the truth, and I'll admit it. For right. Whatever. I, I get it. I do. Would I walk a mile for a donut? You bet your ass I would. I mean, for a duck donut, I would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then I'd Do you feel get like, to pick your donut? The nice thing is I'd feel like I earned it by the time I got done. Yes. So I'd be like, mm, I can have the whole donut instead of just half. <laughs> but that's, a, yeah, right. But that's the sort of, uh, not paradox, but um, catch 22 or gotcha of working out. Mm-hmm. So many people, human nature- including me. Oh, yeah. So many people are like, I've been so good for so long, it's time to be just a little bit naughty. <laughs> I feel I feel like in my life, if I keep my ratio to 80% good and 20% naughty, I've nailed it. That's pretty good for you. 
Uh, yeah, yes, for me <laughs> is a very important qualifier there. I feel like you're usually 20% good and 80% naughty. Hey, now. <laughs> My last office job, they were obsessed with Duck Donuts. That and like the Mormon Starbucks. You know, they always yeah, had the a pick me up or a pop shop or something in their hand. Pop and then shop, we- <laughs> fizz biz, thirst right. burst, hip sip. <laughs> yeah. And then we'd always get uh, Duck Donuts too. Uh, to the point where I, at some point, I was like, you know what, man? I can't keep eating all of the sweets and stuff that they bring in. I can't take a whole donut for me because that's just too many calories, especially because most of the time I'm either sitting at a desk or sitting in front of a patient. So I was like, you know what, man? I'm just going to like cut this thing in half. Yes. And I became that annoying office chick that would take a little butter knife and not touch the other ha- the other half, by the way. So anyone who took my half. You're welcome, but I would take my half, I'd hold it, and then I'd cut it with a butter knife, and I'd leave the other half there for someone else. Because I know that there are other people who only want one half of a donut, dang it. We've talked about how we're learning now Mm -hmm. that American portions are out of control. Oh, yeah. Not not just a little much. Mm -hmm. Out of control. Obscenely out of control. And we, we've done a bad thing and we ought to feel bad about it. Well, and we do. So I think. I, know I feel bad. <laughs> I don't think you were the office annoyance. I think you were the office inspiration. Maybe, probably not. But just in general, like I remember before I was that person seeing cut in half pastries and being like, well, why would you do that? <laughs> I don't want what you touched. Now you I know. I don't trust you. <laughs> and that's growth, Carl. Right. Yeah, you know what? Now I have a better, more empathetic perspective. And I understand that this person was trying to not be wasteful, but also recognized their limitations. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Thank you. Oh, man, I feel so good. <laughs> Thanks, Duck Donut Thon. Do you want to go share a Duck Donut? <laughs> I think yeah, now I really want one. That sounds really good. So registration is open. The event is May 18th. Mm. We'll see you there. Can I do a half mile for a half donut? Brilliant. Brilliant. I think I should get to do that. May, okay. What if <laughs> we both do a half mile and you pick the donut because you know I don't care oh. and, and we'll split it down the middle. I love that. It'll either be there. Can it, can it be a relay? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> but we we use the donut as the relay and we split it in half yes, as we go. <laughs> instead of passing the torch, we pass the donut. I love that idea. I think that's brilliant. And it's kind of like a wishbone too, because whoever gets the biggest, the bigger half. Oh yeah, because it'll be in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One's holding it out. Yeah, there's no butter knife the in the office. <laughs> it's just yeah. It's just a, okay, Mike. Here I come. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly how it should right. work. <laughs> now, realistically, it'll either be their blueberry one or their uh, maple bacon one. Okay. Because those two were the best. I vote maple bacon. Right. Thank yeah. you.